Our lesson for today will be looking at Physics 1505. The topic for today will be Kinematics. We will be looking at practice question lesson 107. Let us start. Normally practice lesson questions, it's actually practice question lessons. We deal with questions. We don't really explain a concept in detail, but we do have lesson videos whereby we explain a lesson in detail. And then practice questions is when you've understood the lesson very well and then you apply what you have learned throughout the lessons um, by answering the question or a certain question and you can simply pause the video to work out this question play the video to verify your answer so this is the question that we'll be dealing with today in this lesson without wasting time let us get to the scenario a runner maintains constant acceleration after starting from rest as she runs a distance of 60.0 meters now before we can do anything we can picture this we have a runner I'm not very good when it comes to drawing so please bear with me so we have a runner which starts from rest this keyword it simply means that we have our initial velocity as 0 meters per second And then this person will run for a distance of 60.0 meters. And then throughout this, there is a constant acceleration that she moves at. And that acceleration is maintained. So far, we do not know the acceleration from the given scenario. Now we continue with the scenario. The runner speed at the end of the 16.0 meters is 9.00 meters per second. So we have our velocity here as 9.00 meters per second. How much time did it take the runner to complete the 60 meter distance? So we are actually looking for the time it takes for this person. Now there is a lesson video whereby we explained all the kinematics equations. And then in this question we just need to use the equation that has both acceleration and time. So the first one, we can use S, it's equals to the initial velocity multiplied by time plus half of the acceleration, then have time squared. And then we can quickly rearrange this equation. We know that the initial velocity is zero, then zero multiplied by this T will simply result into zero. So we have half a t squared. And then the second equation, which also involves acceleration and time, we can use the final velocity equals to the initial velocity plus a t. We know very well that the initial velocity is zero, so we have a t. Now let us substitute this equation by values. So we have 60.0, it's 60.0 as our distance, and then we have half, and then we have a t squared. You can simply say this is our equation 1, and then looking at substituting on the equation 2, we know that we have 9.0 as the final velocity equals to a t and then from equation this equation number two we can rearrange the equation such that our acceleration is the subject of the formula so we have a it's equals to 9.00 divided by t then we can simply label this as equation 3 now we are going to substitute equation 3 into 
1. We have 60.0, it's equals to half acceleration, we substitute by 9, it's actually 9.0, over t, and then we have the t squared. And then we have a fraction and a fraction, 60.0, it's equals to just a quick a review or tutorial on fractions we know that whenever you have 1 over 2 multiplied by uh, 2 over 3 we simply take numerator numerator 1 multiplied by 2 it's 2 then 2 multiplied by 3 it's 6 then we can simply simplify this if we have a over b multiplied by c over d the answer will simply be a c over b d and then if we have let's say a whole number multiplied by a fraction we simply take the whole number multiplied by the numerator, it will be 2, and then we take the, the, the denominator the way it is. So let's say we have 1 over a multiplied by um, 3, we are simply going to take 3 multiplied by 1, we have 3 over a, we simply put it the way it is. So that is what we are going to do here. Let us start with this, we have 1 multiplied by 9.00 it's 9.00 and then 2 multiplied by t we have 2t over and then we still have the whole number here 60.0 it's equals to a whole number multiplied by a fraction we simply take a whole number multiplied by the numerator so we are going to have 9.00 t squared over 2t then in this case we are going to have t um, divided by this one of the t's and then we're going to have 60.0 is equal to 9.00 t then we divide by 9.00 both sides and then our t is equal to actually before we continue there's a problem here we're supposed to put Sorry about that. You should be very careful when dealing with this. So removing the t will be left with over 2 here. So we can continue. We have 60.0 is equals to 9.00 divided by 2. We have 4.5 t. And that is when we can divide by 4.5 both sides. And then t is equals to, we have 13.33 seconds. So this will be our answer for this particular question. I hope and trust you got this correct. That's it for this lesson video. This is Wahula SG. Thank you very much.